Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited today because I'm gonna show you the entire process of creating my wedding invitations. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire painting process and then I'm gonna show you near the end the assembly process and sort of my thought process behind everything. Here are a few of the supplies that I'm gonna be using. I'm starting with the Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor Paper. It's a five by seven pre-cut sheet. I love using these for projects like this. Um, I'm gonna use a couple different palettes of colors, a board, I'm just gonna tape it down and paint, of course. I use Windsor and Newton paint and water and brushes. So now I'm just taping the paper down on this board. I actually started one and I didn't like it, so I started again, so that's why you see a different tape on this one. <laughs> so our wedding is going to be on the top of a mountain, so our entire wedding stationary set and everything is kind of mountain-themed and nature and that sort of thing. So I wanted to create sort of a multi-dimensional kind of invite. And I had this idea of doing a watercolor painting sort of as the bottom layer and then using a clear vellum on top for all of the wedding details and things like that um, as to not sort of add text and everything on top of the painting. So it's gonna be two separate layers and I'm gonna attach them with some little brass fasteners. So here I'm just painting out the bottom layer which is going to be just some mountains and um, a little kind of river scene at the bottom. I did want to keep the top half of the painting sort of empty so that the text that I added would have a nice kind of almost solid background and it wouldn't get too distracting with the mountains and everything underneath. So I did roughly sketch this out on my paper first. You can't really see it here, but I did use a light pencil crayon to do that. And I'm just creating the mountains first. Um, actually, I did the sky first, which I did the same technique that I did in my painting clouds tutorial. I will link it here if you wanna see how I did that. So yeah, first the clouds and then the mountains, and then we're gonna do the foreground afterwards. Chris and I are getting married in June, um, on June 7th, as I said, at the top of a mountain, which is kind of cool. I am really looking forward to it, and if you guys have been wondering where I've been, I've probably been wedding planning among a bunch of other life stuff that just happened to pop up at this exact moment. <laughs> But yeah, I've already picked out my dress. Um, we're planning right now, I've narrowed down a couple photographers and we're deciding if we want a DJ or a band. If you guys have any input on that subject, please let me know because I'm having the hardest time trying to, to decide what to do. And my dress, I am so in love with my dress. I went shopping just with my mom and we were there for two hours. It was the first dress that I tried on. Um, it was the first one that I kind of saw on the racks and I ended up trying it on three times during that session and I just, I fell in love with it. I love it so much. Um, I'm not gonna be sharing it, unfortunately, on any of my social media or anything until after the wedding, um, but it is so lovely. It's like a boho chic, lacy, layered, Oh, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. I wish I could share a picture with you guys. So in the painting here, I've got the mountains done and they're dry and I'm just going in now and adding the foreground using a mix of different greens and yellows. I'm gonna put all the supplies that I use below as I always do so that you guys can just click and see exactly what I'm using. I'm also gonna be creating a lot of DIY things for the wedding, so Again, if that's something you guys wanna see, um, different DIY projects, let me know. They won't all be painting projects, um, but I do have some really cool ideas for uh, like florals and chandeliers and stuff like that. And I would love to share that with you if you want to see it. The reception area of the wedding is in a little cafe uh, at the base of the mountain and it's so cute because it overlooks the mountain. It's got a whole window or a whole wall full of tall windows and it's got the timber frame ceilings. It's just really pretty, kind of like a ski lodge feel. And I'm so excited to start decorating and getting my creative touch in there. 
Okay, so I've got the grass part finished. I just added a, bit, a brown, a bit of wispy little grass pieces in there. And now I'm gonna add some trunks for some trees. And I'm gonna do a bunch of pine trees here. And I'm just using mixes of green. I'm adding just some really rough tree impressions on the left hand side here. These ones are gonna be a little bit more layered, so we'll add darker layer in front. And then once those tree trunks that I painted previously are dry, I'm gonna go in with a filbert brush, which is a flatter brush, and it's gonna allow me to create horizontal lines and stripes to make the different branches and stuff of the trees. That's just a really, really quick way to do pine trees. If you have a brush that's flatter, you could just sort of move it along. You've probably seen people do this in oil painting, and if you've ever watched a Bob Ross tutorial, I'm sure you've seen him do something similar as well. Now that the left-hand side trees are dry, I'm gonna go on top of what I already did and just add some more trees that are more in the foreground here, so it's gonna be a little bit of a darker shade. And then I'm gonna go back in over those other trees just with a little bit more of a darker shade just to add a little bit of depth. And here I'm adding an indigo blue color just to sort of tone down that green a little bit and again add some shadow detail, some depth to these trees. And I think the overall color scheme for our wedding is gonna be that sort of olive color, navy color, really like organic, um, like greenery style. So I really wanted the invitations to portray that. I'm just starting on the water here and I'm gonna do a bit of a reflection of those trees on the left. And I'm just sort of blending those out with more water. The more water you add, the fuzzier your reflections are gonna be. And then I'll just go in with a darker shade and I'll add a little bit of shadow and then again some more shadow to the ground underneath those trees and then along the edges of where the land meets the water. And I'll just continue adding some final details, sharpening up some areas, adding some more dark spots and stuff like that. And then I'm going to grab a white gel pen and go in and add a little bit of highlight to some of the elements, like the trees, and I think I added on the mountains as well. So the painting done, I take the tape off and let it dry and here is what I'm left with. This is the final painting. And then we printed the details on clear vellum at a local printing place. So then I scanned in the original painting and in Photoshop I made a two page display of the painting and I actually printed it on this watercolor paper. And with some cutting and brass fasteners, this is how it turned out. The brass fasteners are just in each of the four corners and the vellum is on top. I also made custom envelope inserts with the little tree graphic. And then we packaged them all up like this with the RSVP card. I also included an illustrated map. And then we tied it all together with jute rope and that is how it turned out. I hope that you guys like that invite creation. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your opinions below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.